Okay. Itamek skanatani. Good morning. It is just a little bit past dawn on Thursday, my favorite day of the week. February 3rd, 2022, in the lunar cycle Bita Gitsum, the Eagle Moon, which is our fifth of seven winter cycles. We are on the downslide now. <laughs> and uh, getting the day started, I think it's going to be a busy day. We're going to find out. I, I just ran Doyle and Devin, my friend Cass's sons, well, I guess sister in law now, Cass's sons, uh, over to school. I'm taking them to school still in the mornings, but afternoon pickups is happening by other means because as I transition to Samus, I am losing a lot of my freedom to just, you know, run out of the studio anytime I want and uh, go do things. Um, they expect me to be at work. <laughs> any case, uh, we got a skunk call this morning. This is from a house in Legacy, where, in Legacy Ridge here, where um, they caught on security camera the other night three skunks, I'm sure they're sororal sisters born last year, spending their first non-breeding winter together. Uh, any case, I'm going to try to catch all three. We've got one this morning, and uh, I'll reset a trap there, probably take it over to Pavan Park because that's just distant enough away that I don't think she'll come back. Um, and then we'll head into the studio this evening. I think we will be going to Britt's parents' place, uh, Lisa and Curtis, because there's Indian tacos to be had tonight, which is going to be yum. <laughs> but between now and then, I'm betting some things go on, because I just have that feeling about today, and it's warming up. It was like minus 15, uh, minus 17, but this morning it's minus 10, so it feels balmy. <laughs> Not even. This is my client pulling out right now, I think. Um, yeah, we're just getting to the house here. Ah, oh, yes, there she is. Out by the fence. We'll go take a look. we we'll go take a look. Grab our tarp. Remember, I uh, lost one of my kickstands on this little tripod selfie. I gotta buy a new one. Ah. Till then, you guys are gonna get some sideways views once in a while. Let's see, I'll make room for her here, get this other trap out of the way. Hey there, girl. Oh, you're a big girl, huh? You're kind of a big girl. You're not a young one from, from this year. You might be mama from last year. I don't know. Just gonna spray my ass. That's what's gonna happen here. I can just see it coming. Alright. Oh, the, calming, the calming effects of the... You got a couple more in that hole. Let's take her down to Pavan. Van Park, our furthest outlying northern park, our, our furthest downstream park. Let's get her out of here.
Do you ever see uh, crystallized skunk spray? There you have it. Right there, all that yellow. <laughs> all right. See ya. Oh, there go the deer. <laughs> deer don't really like skunks. <laughs> Bambi was a lie. All that stuff with uh, that little baby skunk. Deer don't like skunks. Sometimes when I drop off a skunk and I'm too close to a deer with her fawn. That deer will go chase after that skunk. Because if the skunk sprays her fawn, that means that fawn's got coyote problems. All right, I think we're good to go. Yeah, she's following the path of least resistance. Right, get in the bush, lady. Well, I don't know about how good my intuition is because today's been a rather slow day so far. It's already one o'clock. Uh, all of my morning I spent just at my desk at the studio doing some work on my laptop and such, checking in on the few students that are in-house making belts. There's only five students in attendance today out of ten for some reason. I don't know. Um, and only three of them are in-house. So uh, two are online. So, so anyway, um, did work in my desk, went home, had uh, lunch chicken wings with Brit, and now I'm at the mall. I'm gonna go do a little bit of shopping for some supplies for the studio here at Michael's. The most expensive of craft stores to spend our federal dollars at. Well, believe it or not, it's already the end of the work day. Um, the students were working on leather belts today. Maybe I'll take you in there quick and show you their progress on that. They're already gone though. Um, all except my, my sister-in-law, Cynthia. I think she's waiting for a ride still. But me, I've been in my office uh, working on some communications regarding the end of project um, wrap. And uh, they might be moving this whole project up to Calgary and going to run a, f uh, a fifth intake up there instead of down here. Try it up there, which is which should be cool. Um, but I'd like some of our guys from down here to go up there to... Uh, to actually launch it. Me, this afternoon, I've been working on kind of a side project. Um, I had this idea that it might be cool uh, to take vocabulary words from the Blackfoot language. Like, this is all vocabulary of stuff around the house, hey? Um, so take a, a list of different vocabulary words and basically use the Cricut to cut those out in vinyl in a way that you can, you know, post them around your house and this is this is a uh, these are like temporary vinyls made for posting stuff on walls and tearing it down eventually so um i've got like two sheets i think going just for household vocab um i'll probably have two sheets and then i'm thinking about making a two-sheeter for kitchen vocab and a two-sheeter for school vocab um, and then we'll see where it goes from there. So I got my first three ideas and basically I'll print them off um, or I'll put the vinyl in the in the Cricut machine, cut them out, uh, and then take the, the negative space away, leaving the, the lettering and stuff and people can buy that, um, go home and, and use it. So 
That's my idea. I might not even take away the negative space. That's a lot of work that I don't necessarily have to do. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's my idea and sell those, hey? So people who don't know Blackfoot that are trying to learn Blackfoot, and that's a considerable number of people that are doing that around here, um, or at least would if they had some resources. And I think this would be a cool set of resources, you know? Um, labels around the house, labels around the office, labels around school, labels around wherever. <coughs> Let's go take a look at the belts. Colors look pretty nice, eh? Hey? I know. <laughs> Harlem's just playing as usual. <laughs> look at this carousel horse. Oh, I know. She was showing me that. That's pretty cool. And then Mallory is just pretty cool. She's starting to paint, eh? Hey? Yeah. Um, you said, oh, oh, yeah, you did one before, so she can fix that. And I was using a normal paintbrush uh, to fix mine, but I think it's almost oh, fixed. Oh, you're already starting to paint, too. And um, then he gave me this way after. Oh, yeah, the detailed. Yeah. Cool. Okay. We're going to use any of these clips. I've started my own YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can't use your clips? No. Okay, can I use my camera then? <laughs> <laughs> So we're taking advantage of what's left of the sunlight here to come on the University of Lethbridge campus and see whether the owls are going to be nesting here this year. It's owl and eagle nesting season. And up until last year, there was probably four or five consecutive years with great horned owl nests. Um, here in this little patch of spruce trees on the university campus. And looking around right now, I'm not even seeing any of the old nests. I wonder if the university had them knocked down. But I'm looking for, looking for sign of the owls around here anywhere. Yeah, I need to find an owl nest monitor for the season. There's a there's the nest. Yeah. Is she in it? Yeah, there is. She is in it. Yeah, so let's get your camera out and get a close look. Get your bitch ass out of the way. Hi, little owl. So she's already incubating. That is very cool. Um. Do you want to hold it? Yeah. Oh, where'd she go? I'm retarded. There she is. Already incubating. So we are in Bitaki, on the Eagle Moon, and they're going early, early. I mean, we just started into this moon yesterday, and typically they start actually incubating you know maybe halfway through the moon so she is early her husband's around here somewhere we'll quickly see if we can find him but it's pretty cold so incubating means she's sitting on eggs oh, oh she doesn't oh, she doesn't sit in a nest like that unless she's sitting on eggs I'm sitting on eggs little girl yep she is so we are in the eagle moon and we got owls once again at the university of lethbridge campus Look at that, it's Can proof. Oh my god, please don't. Wait, please don't. Don't. When I was, uh, when I was going to be there, I was going right past and turned around and was like, Catherine's like, what's going on? Look at this. 